Hey guys, this is Spencer Hughes from Lens City Mortgages. We are on episode number seven of our mini series, What Questions Should I Be Asking When I'm Purchasing My First Home or A Property in General? We're gonna be talking today about additions and renovations to the home, which honestly can be a blessing and that can also be your worst nightmare in your home buying experience. Um, there's two reasons. One, that renovation could not be legally done on paper, could be done by an unlicensed contractor and also inflating the cost of the home artificially. If something isn't done with expert craftsmanship, you shouldn't be paying an expert craftsmanship premium on your home price. So if you see an addition done to a house that, and you figure out after further investigation that that addition to said property was not done by a professional, that would be a reason for me and a red flag as to why this house has a little bit of a higher value than other comparables in the area. Um, now what you're also going to want to look for is if there's any damage to said addition to the home that will also kind of give you an idea if it was a do-it-yourself job or if they actually had you know somebody professional come in and get it done for you. Um, all of these th things are going to be adding value to the home but the only way you're going to know if something was an addition to when that homeowner bought it is if you ask. So asking questions is very important. Make sure that you don't buy something just based off of the sole feeling that you think it looks newer and that it is newer. And a lot of the times we get that when something has just been kind of redone or repainted over 20 years, nothing's a new addition, but it's enough to add a little bit of value to the home. So it's something to just to really keep an eye out for. Um, but if you get a nice addition on your home and it's in perfect condition, it doesn't cause you any headaches, then that's all the better. In our next episode, episode eight, we're gonna be talking about water pressure and why that's so important to check prior to signing a purchase and sale agreement on your new home.